class. In this video, we'll take a look at a BEO or a banquet event order, and we'll take a look at how to decipher and read it for hot food in particular. So first, what we're looking at is the overall, this is what's called a Delphi system, and it pre-populates um, information about the client, um, what it will be posted as, the, the actual information from the client. Um, and the next section down here is the event timeline. This will tell you when things are specifically happening, um, when guests will arrive, uh, and any subdivision within each party group. On the right here, it'll tell us three main um, key pieces of information. The first, uh, that is the guest count. It tells us what the uh, guarantee is, what the set, and what the uh, uh, agreed to when they first signed the contract. So when we cook for food, we always look at the guarantee. We look at the set to make sure that it's not, you know, much higher um, than that. Usually it's a, it's no more than 10%. 10% is kind of the industry standard, what most people do for a set. Um, but the guarantee, this is how many people they are guaranteeing to pay for. So that's how many people um, we need to take a look. When we come down in here into the actual context of it, you'll see the menu section. Over to the right, you'll see a setup on a visual or miscellaneous. Typically on the food side of things, we just look at this section over here um, for the menu. So if we look at this one, the first station here is a salad bar station. So we're gonna go ahead and skip over that because that's, a, that's an all cold food section. Um, Next, we're going to go into the next section you see here in the title. It says grilled cheese. It's a station um, reception item, um, and it lists kind of the grilled cheese. You'll see there tomato best shooters, um, uh, potato chips, which would be done on the cold side. And then you see there it says fajitas. Um, so this is obviously going to be um, a mix of hot and cold. Um, cilantro, lime, marinade, chicken, uh, tacos. Um, beef um, and then all the cold food attached to it and you have to look in here too because sometimes they they like to put you know um, tortilla chips with warm queso dip so we need to look at the warm queso and it just kind of goes down through um, when we look at this section here it's, it's spelled out a little bit different because if you notice that they're paying per order of meatballs and not including um, right up here which says per person um, so you need to pay attention to see whether it is paid per person or whether it's paid per order or individual piece. There is difference in between the two. And when looking at this, it really takes a lot of experience, knowledge, and know-how of, of how to know how much food to make. And that'll usually, that'll come from the executive chef or the banquet chef, uh, the uh, executive sue or anybody in charge of the function. They will determine how many pieces or how much. But when you're looking at it, to read a BO, you just simply need to go down through. And each industry, each building is a little different, has a little bit different of a setup, but pretty much they're all the same um, flow and format within each one. So that's pretty much how we look at it. Down below, you'll see beverage and a beverage section. Um, they have a dessert station there, but that's how you look at, at a BEO. When we're looking at it, you really need to read line by line and go through um, up at the top, it'll be nice and bold for what the station is. You know, this one tells us here the serving time from 6.30 to 7.30. Uh, if you notice, all of them at that time, except for here, this one goes 6.30 to 9. And then this one is 7.30 to 9. So, so the dessert station actually goes out after the other um, food there. So every BEO is different. Every You just really have to you know read them and understand what you're looking at. The main thing is to look at the guaranteed guest count and the set, and then to look at the menu and kind of try and visualize what type of menu it is. This one's an all reception menu, so there's no actual buffet. They have different stations placed throughout the room. I've hoped you learned a little bit, and thank you very much.